How receptive to day game are girls in Warsaw? I spent the last month coaching four guys here and in total we've done around 400 sets. So we have a good sample size to understand how day game works here. This is part three of a three part video series about day game in Warsaw. In part one we talked about uh, is Warsaw over game. In part two I showed you the most popular and best day game spots in Warsaw and today we're going to talk about how receptive the girls are. So we're going to talk about how easy it is to stop them, how receptive they are in sets, how easy it is to number close, how easy it is to convert numbers to dates, and how easy is it to turn dates into lays. Let's start with how easy is it to stop them. Let's rate this from 1 to 10. 1 being really hard, 10 being super easy. I would give this an 8. They are very easy to stop if your stop isn't terrible. If you're going to walk with them, they're not going to react as well. I saw some other guys do that, but they stop very easily. How receptive are they in sets? Again, 1 being not receptive at all, 10 being extremely receptive. I would give this a 7. It's very easy to find topics to talk about. Well, if you are going to ask questions like, oh, what do you do for work? Where are you from? How do you like living in Poland? They will leave pretty fast. But if you can spark their emotions with some nice teasing and storytelling, they are very receptive and open to being chatted up. This one really comes down to how good your game is. If, if you're good at uh, stacking and teasing and storytelling, you're going to do great here. How easy is it to number close them? I'll give this a 7. If you run a decent set, they're pretty open to giving their numbers or their Instagrams. How easy is it to convert numbers to dates? Well, this is where we start running into the realities of Warsaw. I would give this a 5. Yes, they are very open to being stopped and chatted up and they give, their, give out their numbers on Instagram pretty easily, uh, but most of them will flay or they will respond until the time you date request and then they disappear. But that's not a problem. Every city has a bottleneck. Let's say you go to Belgrade or you go to New York and you will get more blowouts. So that's your bottleneck. They're open. Or maybe you go to another place and, and you are getting topics and you're starting to story tell, but they don't really care and, and they just leave. So maybe the middle of the set is the bottleneck. And here the bottleneck is converting the numbers to dates. And even with this being the biggest bottleneck, almost all of the students got dates here. How easy is it to turn dates into lays? Poland is known for dates to nowhere, so I would give this 6 out of 10. If you run into the right girl and or do the right things, yes, it's not that hard to get laid here, but with a lot of girls, it's, it's gonna be pretty hard. So it will come down to meeting the right girls and doing the right things on the dates. From all of the day gamers that I know who came to Warsaw this summer, all of the good day gamers who spent some time here got laid, and most of the beginners who came here did not. But that being said, I think Warsaw is one of the best places for learning day game. I personally love coaching day game here. If you go to a harder city to practice day game where you will get more blowouts, you will get to practice your stop a lot and your opener a lot, but then you won't get as many opportunities to practice more than one stack and to practice your storytelling and the number closing and going on dates and everything else. Whereas here, because they are fairly open to being stopped, you get to practice your stop, your opener, your stacking, your storytelling, uh, number closing, texting, and everything you do on dates. Even with the amount of day gamers you'll see on the streets, I still think Warsaw is an incredible city for learning day game, at least for practicing day game, going on a day game trip. But that should be your expectations when you come here. You're coming here to have fun, to talk to a bunch of chicks, to learn day game, maybe go on a date, maybe get laid. But if you are a beginner coming here, then Expect that, but don't get pissed off when you don't get laid at the end of your trip. And if you don't like day gaming in the same spots where everyone else is, then as I said in the previous videos, I have a list of several spots that most day gamers don't go to. I didn't want to put out that list while I'm still here because that's where I'm going with my students and coaching them there, but I'm leaving Warsaw tomorrow. So uh, in a few days, I'll send out that list to my mailing list. If you want to get access to the list and find out about the spots that are not over game where you won't see other day gamers, then simply click a link in the description, enter your email and you will receive the list of all the places either immediately or in a few days. That's it guys, I hope you will enjoy your day game trip to Warsaw and if you want to see guides like this about other cities I go to, especially more interesting cities than Warsaw, Prague or London, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Ciao guys!